What's better for carrying stuff on your bike? A basket on the front or a basket on the back? Hi everyone, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel about urban cycling and bike commuting. Welcome to all you new subscribers and if you like this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. So there are a million different types of bike baskets out there. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on the specifics of each of these models because this isn't about these exact baskets, it's more about the idea of front or back baskets. But if you're wondering, these are both sort of simple mid-range wire basket. This one's called an Evo R Basket Classic. They're both removable racks. This one slides right on and off, which is, which is important to me as a cyclist because I don't wanna always have my basket on there. And this rack on the back is an Axiom Market Basket LX. It affixes to the back rack through clamps. Nice strong clamps. I'll put links to both of these baskets in the description, but let's get testing. My first test is riding with these baskets empty. I just wanted to test them out. So the back rack, the first thing you notice is absolutely nothing. I clamp it on there and I forget about it. It's almost like it's not even there. The front basket, on the other hand, I do feel it. It does affect my steering ever so slightly. This is a nice light rack, so it's not too bad, but it definitely bounces around a bit. There is the aesthetics of a basket to think about too. Which one looks better? Uh, they're both pretty simple, inconspicuous wire baskets. And I think it's kind of a matter of preference. Some people just like the look of a front basket. Some people like the look of the back basket. But there is some difference in getting on and off the bike. With the front basket, I barely even notice getting on and off it. But in the back one, you really have to stretch your leg a lot farther if that's the way you get on your bike. So that's something to consider. One other thing with the front basket is when it's, even when it's not loaded, it does kind of adjust, it does kind of pull down the front handlebars. So if you've got a kickstand, you've got to be a bit careful because it can pull it right off. So overall in the category of empty baskets, I'm giving this one to the back basket. About 32 pounds. So why am I weighing a bag of groceries with a luggage scale? Because it's time for test two, which is the grocery test. For me anyway, the most common use of a bike basket is to pick up groceries. So what I've done here is collect a 32 pound load of groceries and we are going to test them in both the front and the back basket. Okay, let's start with the back basket. The uh, listed carrying capacity of this basket was 25 kilos or about 55 pounds. So there should be plenty of capacity Oh, and look at that. It just, this grocery bag just slides right into that basket. Nice and easy. Or the other thing is you can just take these two handles from the basket and uh, take that through the grocery store as well. But that was an easy fix. Let's take it for a ride and see how it feels. Okay, so I've ridden a little bit with this load of groceries in the back basket. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. I barely even notice it's there. Once you get rolling, that extra weight is only noticeable really on hills. I did notice a bit on when I stand up and accelerate or when I move my bike when I'm off of it, that that back weight does sort of make the whole bike back heavy, obviously, but pretty manageable. On the corners, you notice it a little bit, like I'm leaning a little less than I might normally because I'm worried about that back weight. But even when I'm turning quickly or sharply, it's not making a huge difference on my ride. So there's a couple things to notice right off the bat with this front rack. Uh, the grocery bag wouldn't fit in here, so I took some of the groceries out and just place them right in here directly. Not as convenient if you're a grocery bag shopper. Also, this rack did not come listed with a carrying capacity that I could find. It's definitely not as big as the back rack, uh, so I'm not gonna put that much weight in it. I think there's maybe 10 uh, or 12 kilos here. I'm thinking maybe 20, 25 pounds max capacity for this rack. Another thing is too, once it's full, even when I'm trying to get on the bike, you really have to be careful with that extra weight. It just really wants to pull your handlebars down to the ground. It's definitely a different experience from riding with the groceries in the back. Uh, I definitely feel the weight, especially on the corners. When I lean into a corner, it's really pulling me. I'm trying to be really careful. Um, it's nice to be able to see the groceries. You can see what's in your basket. I mean, if you've got something valuable or I don't know, a purse or a wallet in there, it's nice to be able to see it rather than in the back where you can't see it. But for this extra weight on here, I don't know. <laughs> it's making me nervous. This one's kind of a no brainer when it comes to the grocery test because of its extra carrying capacity and security and all those other things I talked about. This one's going to the back rack. So next up is the weight test. Whoa. Okay, I'm done. So the grocery test that I just did was a nice measure of 
sort of the convenience of putting a bunch of stuff in there, but here I really want to test the weight. And obviously it's not a fair test because the back rack's weight capacity is just a whole bunch bigger than the front one. I'd say it's probably double than the front one. So it's not necessarily about how much weight it can take, it's how does the basket act with that weight. So what I'm gonna do is take some dumbbells, an equal amount, I've got 30 pounds, I'm gonna put 30 pounds in the front, right around 30 pounds in the back, and just see what the riding difference is like. I've been riding around with 30 pounds in the back basket for a while now, and I've been looking for a place to do some circles. Here we go. So 30 pounds in the back is totally manageable. Um, yes, I definitely feel the weight on these corners when I'm doing circles in the middle of intersections. There's no traffic here. It's a college campus when there's no students. Doing circles like this is really easy. I don't even, I can notice the weight in the back, but it's not slowing me down. It's barely affecting my uh, agility. Is that the word? I'm still able to steer as much as I need to. On a hill, you definitely feel the weight, of course, but overall, pretty good for the back rack. So there it is, 30 pounds in the front basket. I've been doing some laps, doing some loops around here, trying to get used to the feeling. It's definitely a lot different than when the weight was in the back. Uh, it needs practice. I'm riding pretty tentatively for a couple of reasons. One is I'm worried about breaking the rack with this much weight. I think it's probably over the capacity, but it's not listed, so I don't know. And also, it has a huge impact on my steering. Uh, whenever I turn, I feel that weight pulling. And I've felt like I was gonna slow, slow roll into a curb a couple times until I could recover. So, based on total capacity and the impact on maneuverability, the weight test is going to the back rack. Three nothing for the back rack so far. Let's move on. I'm calling this next test the convenience test. And the thought here is sometimes you want access to the thing that you're carrying. Maybe it's your camera, maybe it's your water bottle, maybe it's a container of oat milk left over from your grocery test. Yeah, either way, the test here is how easily can you grab stuff? So front basket, bam, drinking my oat milk, drinking my oat milk, back in the basket. That is great. That is a 10 out of 10 for convenience. Oh, I got it, but I had to fish around back there. It can work, but you can't really see what's going on back there. It's an awkward stretch. So finally, the front basket takes a category. The convenience test goes to the front basket. Time for the fifth and final test, and this is the one I was really looking forward to. We're calling it the bounce test. So sometimes when you've got things in a basket and you hit a bump, it pops out. It's, it's one of the disadvantages of a basket compared to a bag or a pannier is that it's got no roof on it, so things can pop out. But it's hard to tell what is better, the front or the back basket. So what I've done is about 100 balls. I'm gonna try to put 50 in each basket. I'm here in a, in a field with lots of bumps and rocks and that sort of thing. I'm gonna ride through it, see how many balls bounce out. At the end, we'll count them up and determine which one is better. Two, four, 48, 50, 50 in the back. It's gonna be tight. Yes, they will fit. 50 in the front, 50 in the back. All right, let's go for a ride. Wow, that was harder. It was harder to get rid of the balls than I expected. I had to ride really hard. And both baskets actually did pretty well. I actually had to steer for some holes, some potholes, to actually really get the balls moving out of there. So maybe it's not as big of a problem as I thought it was. Anyway, let's uh, count them up. Two, four, 20 in the front. So we lost 30 balls out of the front basket. Two, Four. and 33 were remaining in the back basket. So actually pretty close. I thought it would be not as close. The back basket won by a smidge. So probably due to its bigger volume, a bigger size, the balls were just had more, had to jump higher to get out. But hmm, interesting. So the ball test goes to the back basket, but just barely. 
And so there you have it. In four out of the five categories, the back basket is the winner. So a pretty clear choice that the back basket is superior for carrying stuff for your practical bike rides. That's not to say there's no value in a front basket. I think there's some definitely some situations where the back or the front basket is preferred. If you really want to keep an eye on your stuff, if you've got a purse or a, something important you want to put out there, you could definitely go for that front basket. But otherwise, I'd say for practical purposes, for cargo carrying cap capabilities, the back basket is the clear winner. I hope that helped. I know which basket I'll be choosing in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.